What do you do? You drive a forklift or what? Yeah. Oh, that leg. Can you pick up my ex-wife? <laughs> that bitch gained like fucking 200 pounds. I know, bro. She backs up. Eep, eep, eep. You gotta get out of that shit. Man. What's your name, bro? Amado. What? Amado. Amado? Yeah, Amado. Amado. Are you trying to be funny right now? Or that's your real fucking name. Amado? Yeah. What do they call you? Love. Ama? <laughs> they don't. It's a weird fucking name, dog. Come on, man. What's your name, bro? <laughs> Ramon. He's a friend of mine, too. He's here, all right? You see how Ramon is, like, known? <laughs> bro, if I bought a baby book, I would not find a model in that fucking book, dog. Do you have a son? Okay, I was gonna say, do you name him Amado? If he did. <laughs> it sounds like Armado. What's Armado? Stay strong. Be good. Okay, Amado. What do you do in your warehouse? That's right. <laughs> oh my god, Raider fans. <laughs> I tried to be a Raider fan. I didn't have enough felonies. <laughs> They're all fuck. What? Hey, fool, take off that Raider jersey, you see? All these misdemeanors. <laughs> you gotta be a Ram fan, huh? Right? <laughs> What's your name, loco? Anthony. Anthony, I've heard of that one. <laughs> Fucking Anthony. He said like a Mexican too, Anthony. <laughs> it's an Italian name, you know that, right? Anthony. <laughs> You're like, Anthony. You can get it. <laughs> Your wife, girlfriend, friend? Yeah. You're trying to hit that shit. Don't fucking lie, man. We can't, men with a dick can't fucking have a girlfriend. He's gonna try one night. He's waiting. What are you drinking right now? A modelo. See, when you get the fucking, like, like, fucking tequila, he's gonna fucking try it. He's a Raider fan, just letting you know. They sneak in. <laughs> Shit, some people got offended by that. Shut the fuck up. These are jokes. Look at comedy. Look at my name right there. I mean, that's funny. I got a comment on my YouTube channel because I, I don't run that shit. Somebody else runs it. And they fucking told me, like, they go, Do you know that Jeff, he, does Jeff know he's being filmed? Because he says he makes up the show all the time. I'm like, but I get DMs from you guys saying what jokes you want to hear. I'm not gonna let you down. That fucking YouTube fucker didn't fucking pay my fucking ticket price. <laughs> right? People that are here right now I care about, not the fuckers in the internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, people are fucking stupid. <laughs> fucking hate stupid people. Don't you hate stupid people? Like, to people like, no, I'm the real. To fucking um, the owner of the club, John, right? He says he, that people walked up and they thought, the marquee. It says my fucking name. There's a poster right there, right? When you walk up. Who's playing tonight? <laughs> Richard Pryor, bitch. <laughs> I always trip out, because the bills are coming out right now. I always trip out. People don't pay attention to me when the bills come out. <laughs> look around, look around right now. Everybody look at the bill. Oh, you had that, bro. <laughs> You're the nacho. I only had one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks when you have to pay, huh? Yeah. Fucking Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. There's no fucking way it's the happiest place on earth. Because if you have two kids and you walked in, you spent 300 bucks. How the fuck are you happy? There's nothing there for us, huh? There's nothing fucking Disneyland should have a strip club. Hey, have a little kid. <laughs> then I'd be happy. You don't say a male one and a woman one. Okay, oh, me, I love you. I love you, babe. Go to that one. I'm going to this one. Hey, kids, we're going to meet here at 4 o'clock, okay? Well, what do you have in your pocket? The three ones? I need those three ones. What the fuck? <laughs> Putting bitches through college. <laughs> fucking strip clubs, huh? You ever been to a strip club, bro? Look at your chick fucking said yes before you did, bro. Fuck yeah, they're awesome. Dude, I went to fucking, have you ever been to Nicolas in East LA? Oh my God. Okay, there's, okay, 
The chicks are fat. What the fuck? There's some jobs you shouldn't have if you're fat. You know what I'm saying? Cheerleader. You know what I'm saying? You ever hear a cheerleader say, give me an O, and she just stands there? Chicks are fat. That's right. Give it up for Orca. That's right. She walked out. The fucking floorboards fucking making noise. She was wearing high heels at the end of the night like somebody put out a lit cigar. You want a lap dance? Fuck no. You ain't breaking my leg, bitch. How about a tip? Oh, here's some meth. There's some sensitive motherfuckers back there, huh? Stop being so sensitive. That's true shit. You can't be a fat stripper. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of things you can't do when you're fat. My, my fucking niece lost like 120 pounds. Beautiful now, but fat as fuck when she was a kid. And she would I took her to Disneyland, right? And she's like, I wanna be a princess. I wanna, no, you can't be a fat princess. You know how many fat princesses are walking around Disneyland as we speak? You can't be a princess if you're fat. I don't want to be a princess. Oh, I'm fucking looking at me. Look at that chick. Fucking fat. I can't be a prince. I want to be a Okay, you could be uh, Fiona, Shrek's wife. You know what I mean? Like, like she want to be a fairy. They sold these fucking wings that go over there. And they, uh, she couldn't even fucking fit the wings. She's sitting there going with a fucking chudo. Can't even reach it. Can't be a fat princess. <laughs> I'm telling you, my fucking kids drive me fucking crazy. I mean, if you guys have any problems in your life, my daughter's 17 years old, she knows everything. Right? You have kids? How old are you? Do you have no kids? 26. 26. Oh, yeah, that's not a kid. That's a full grown person. <laughs> daughter, fuck. She's hot, too. I hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a dad. I don't want a hot daughter. I want an ugly daughter. I don't want to have to worry about her getting abducted. I watch Dateline. Fuck that shit. I'm a fat wobbly. You know, fucking scare me in the garage. Hello, daddy. Fuck, you scared the shit out of me. What's wrong with you, creepy? I'm sorry, daddy. I lost my bell. Gonna get you another bell, creepy. You can laugh, it's okay. No, she's trying to hold it in. Don't hold it in, this fucking shit's funny. Remember, I don't write my jokes. You guys write my jokes. When I say something and they laugh, I keep it. <laughs> in my pocket, Tom Raider fan. It's like when you go, nah, 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 and you rob the people and you put the money in your pocket. Fucking <laughs> cholos, are you guys are crazy. Where you from, man? Oh, I'm sorry, where you live? I'm sorry, bro. There any white people here? White people clap if you're here. All right, when you ask a, a guy that looks like that, don't say where you from, say where do you live? Because he'll be like, what the fuck? Who talked from this place? You gotta say, where do you reside? And then you gotta explain what reside means. You okay, bro? So, uh, where does your mail go? Anaheim? Oh, get the fuck out of here. I was scared for a minute. You know, Mickey Mouse gang, huh? Oh, where you from? Oh. Fucking white people out there, huh? There ain't none of my white people. Come on, bro. There's a little pocket of beaner, but it's fucking all white, dog. If they had a Dockers in a Levi store, the Dockers is more full. I love going to, I'm a Dodger fan, big Dodger fan. Right? Dude, I love going, you ever go to a, you ever went to a Dodger Angel game at Angel Stadium? Yes. You gotta fucking go, bro. They're so fucking nice. <laughs> Sat down in my seats and this white and white angel fan. It's gonna be a good game today, huh, brother? 
Did you care for a hot dog or a Coors Light? You go to Dodger Stadium, huh? Fucking everybody gets mad there, huh? You getting up again, puto? You peed in the second inning. I gotta get up and let you go by, huh? Puto. You go to fucking Angel in Dodger games, bro. Fuck yeah, we just sit there and fucking then we get free shit from white people. <laughs> and their games are always packed. You know why? Because we, our games aren't always packed because we have actual jobs. <laughs> white Angel fans are like, oh, I'm going to the Angel game, hold my calls. <laughs> you figure out the bill yet, fucker, or what? I've been up here for like 20 minutes and you fucking are staring at the bill like it's gonna change, dog. Do you have like magical fucking call me now fucking powers or some shit? Pay the fucking bill and shut the fuck up, all right? You don't understand. I know a cholo from Anaheim. <laughs> you okay, bro? You're looking at me like you look, you're like you look at me like you're studying me. You're like I'm here, bro. This ain't Netflix. I'm really fucking here. Any questions? What's your name? What? <laughs> it's a fucked up name. Hold on. Isaias. Isaias. Is that right? Isaias. Isaias. Spanish translation of Isaiah. Okay. Isaias. Bro, I've been Mexican for 48 years. I never heard that shit before. Clap if you heard Isaias before. Uh, he's heard of Isai. Fuck yeah, I have all their albums. <laughs> Isaias. When'd you get here, bro? Welcome to America. Doesn't that sound like some wetback shit right there? That's some paisa shit right there, huh? Huh, Victor? That's some white, that's some fucking paisa shit, huh? Like, you wouldn't even try to sneak him over if his name was that, huh? We could sneak over a Miguel. We didn't even get over our new fault, but we can't. I see I. Bro, you bought all the vowels. You didn't get that or what? You never seen Will of Fortune or what? I would like to buy all the vowels. All I need is an S. There you go, that's your bill, bro. Yeah, there you go. Welcome to America. The funniest fucking shit happened to me the other day. I'm gonna tell you guys. I tell you about my life. I don't fucking, I have no secrets up here. <laughs> fucking my son calls me up, he got a job, right? My son got a job, he goes, Dad. This is the way he talks, he's like fucking. Dad. That's the way he looks too, he looks just like me. Just exactly like me, dude. He's like a foot taller than me, but Dad. He goes, Dad, they took out, the government took out money out of my check. How do I get that back? called taxes, bitch. <laughs> Welcome to America. I pay so many fuck, you know how much money I pay in taxes? I don't have no write-offs. My fucking daughter turned 18, that fucked me up. <laughs> I'm saving up for a house because COVID fucked me up too. I couldn't work for two years. Fuck, dude, I pay so much taxes, I want to drive through red lights. <laughs> no, I, you don't understand. Here's my tax bill. I, that's probably your salary, dick. Fucking cops are fucking stupid too, man. So sick of cops. I'm, I'm, I'm on the real, man. It's like fucking blows my mind how fucking cops act. Dude, I went to Australia, right? I know oh, I was a wet back in the outback. It was awesome. <laughs> Them cops, they're not like us. They're not like our cops. They walk up to you. Hey, I heard there was a problem. You okay or what? And they shake your hand. They fucking, you know, our cops fucking, what's going on? Get down, get down. Try and look tough even when they don't look tough. You ever seen those fucking bike cops? <laughs> you can't be tough growing up on a fucking huffy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, Sanchez, don't scoot up him like that, man. Fucking cops are nice in Australia, though. Oh my god, you guys got If you're Mexican or black or Asian or anything but white, you gotta go to Australia. I'm telling you, it's the first time I've ever been called an American. 
I was at a bar. He's like, good night, Mike. I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? He's like, oh, you're an American. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I am. <laughs> I called my mom. Mom, you got to come down here. Why? What gave me home? What happened? No, we're American down here. You're a Raider fan, I understand. It's okay, it's first and ten. You got a job, I heard they're hiring at the warehouse. <laughs> what do you do again, bro? Okay. Truck dryer. Truck dryer, fuck yeah. Fucking uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> truck drivers. So uh, we have a few cousins that want to come over. How much would that cost, bro? <laughs> what? Talk we'll talk later. Okay, don't worry about it. Oh yeah, we're on video right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's your wife do, bro? Or your friend? <laughs> your truck driver too? You're a girl truck driver? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, you're yeah, never out yeah. there. <laughs> fuck, you guys get horny when you're on the road. <laughs> Let me know where you're gonna be at, girl. What the fuck? I got 30 bucks in a hotel room. No, you, you, you're high end, I get it. I don't sit there, you old fucker. If, if, if that's your friend, why are you paying for the whole bill, dog? What, cause you fucking truck driver? I have it, dog. So what do you haul besides ass? <laughs> Home Depot, get the fuck out. So you don't work outside the Home Depot, you work inside. <laughs> you missed that whole joke, everybody. You got it, huh, loco? That's my, that's my deal, bro. You didn't get it? Thank you. I'm gonna call you Alphabet, right? <laughs> e -C -I -A -I -A -A -A. Is that your husband or what? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Yeah, like, fucking be proud of that shit. Well, fuck yeah. You went, yeah. Give the man some pride. Look at his name. He can't even pronounce it himself. 14,000 vowels in that shit. You see, I got it. Ramon. That's a fucking strong name, huh? Ramon. Hey, if any, anybody here uh, 30 or younger, clap. All right. When you have kids, give your, especially if you're Mexican, Give your kid a fucking tough name. I'm sick of these pussy names, huh? And I hate that word pussy, and I'm saying it because I'm trying to make my point. You know what I'm saying? Like fucking Connor. Oh my God, Liam. No, I, my, I raised my kids in Laverne, California. It's all white, right? And they all have those like little bitch names. Like Liam, get the ball, Liam. Get the ball, get the ball, Liam. Connor. Good job, Chase. You know what I'm saying? You gotta give your kid a tough fucking name. Start him off right, then you be mad. Oh my God, Connor's gay. Of course he is. You fucking started him off. A fucking tough name. And look, I have nothing against gays, right? I have nothing against That's your shit, right? If you suck dicks, that's cool. Just don't suck mine. If you're a lesbian, love you to death. Just let me watch. But you know what I'm saying? Like Ramon, that's a fucking tough ass fucking name. You know what I'm saying? Close your eyes, bro, and I'll close your eyes, tough cholo guy. Close your eyes, all right? If, if, somebody, if somebody said, okay, Connor is fighting Ramon, and we're taking bets, who would you bet on? Ramon all day. I would call my chick, hey, what are we having savings? What do you mean, why? Ramon's fighting Connor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bitch, I don't need it's tough enough having kids, huh? So, you have kids, bro? Uh, they have little Raider fans too? Uh, so you're gonna make me a little Raider fucking cholo? Hey. Just, what? <laughs> Somebody got offended, you hear that shit? Hey! What's your problem? I'm sorry, I can't see you. I know, well fucking next time get a better seat if you wanna talk shit, right? You don't understand. I know an Anthony and a fucking Ramon, I'll fuck you up. And then you know what? I'll have him do the damage because you won't remember his name because I don't right now. 
And then there was this guy named E-C-I-O-I, X, Y, Z, sometimes Y. You didn't like that one? Okay, I'm working on it. So what's your problem, girl? I can see you now. Uh, oh, Raiders. Oh, so that's your problem, the Raiders. It's okay, that's the Raiders' problem too, the Raiders. I'm sorry, I'm a rap fan. You should come over with the money side. What? No thank you? Yeah, you can stay in yeah, black and gray. Fuck yeah, the Raiders, the, the, next year they're gonna have two eye patches. You a Raider fan, bro? What, 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 what are you, football? I don't have that one, because I'm so wet back, I don't even know. Football? Oh yeah, I like, I like Brazil. I know, that was a good one, huh? I can hear you guys, right? I'm staying longer. I'm not getting off for another minute, right? Is that all right or what? Okay, well, want me to stay longer? Well, I'll stay longer. Can I have a shot of vodka, please? A shot of Tito's? And a waitress, no dressing? We just, no, no. Nature, pay attention! Fucking my boy Sal. I haven't seen you in years, Sal. How you been, bro? You're fucking looking like fucking like you're a drug lord with no drugs. <laughs> no, he, he gave me a puppy. He gave me a he had uh, his dog, he has two full breed huskies and he gave me one for my chick's son. What? What no, no your fucking dog's a hoochie mama dog. How many puppies you had? Bro, she's worse than the baby day kids. She's you should have named her Wayans. Thank you very much, sweetheart. What's your name? Priscilla. Priscilla. Please give Priscilla a round of applause. And please give all the wait staff a round of applause. Because remember, when I go over, they stay later for work. After you guys leave, they have to clean up. So fucking give them a plan. Tip them more. How's that? It's not like we have anything to do. We're old now. Right? How old are you, bro? 34. Fuck, you look 80, dog. What the fuck? The fuck you feeding him, loca? Doesn't he look like 65? How old are you, Ramon? 57. He looks fucking the same age as you, dog. What the fuck? What the hell, bro? Treadmill, something, dog. A mango diet. Give me a, how, how old are you, Anthony? 46. Yeah, I'm 48. We're, we look about the same, except for you have prison years. My boy Cal's here. Give it up, my boy Cal, a good friend of mine. He's Lebanese. He gets mad when I call him Armenian. No, we are not the Armenian. We are Lebanese. <laughs> know your race, you bitch of liquor of mother. <laughs> like that YouTube chick. She gets mad. Fuck, oh my God, why are you saying he says the same joke sometimes? Because he's here. <laughs> he likes those fucking jokes. You ever heard Armenians curse or Lebanese look at they fucked it up all the time. You're the liquor of the mother of the bitch. <laughs> they can't curse. You ever see, they try and they're mad too. You see fucking veins coming through them. They smell like garlic. You're the liquor of the mother of the bitch of the liquor of the bitch. Huh? Yeah. You never had an Armenian mad at you? <laughs> oh, she Armenian or what? <laughs> what? Half Arab? Well, okay, that's a lot. Arab is a lot. What, which one is it? Uh, Palestinian. Okay, is that by Lebanese? Uh -huh. Nearby. It's nearby, right around the corner. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? So who is your dad or your mom? Yeah. They, they, they curse like this, huh? You lick over the bitch, a pussy, a mother of the dick. They don't know how to put words together. Black people. Any black people here? Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. There we go. See, you guys curse the best. Oh, punk ass bitch, motherfucker. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. <laughs> they curse good. Lebanese, Arab, everybody from there. Like, you, you're the mother of the pussy of dick. <laughs> of the of the liquid of the man. Huh? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just going a little bit, bro. I get it for free here. Well, relax, bro. <laughs> what are you, my fucking sponsor? Relax. You know what you are? You're licking a bitch, a pussy. Huh? I got the Anthony of the warehouse. 
you know? <laughs> bro, it's fucking, it's hilarious when you guys curse. You can't, put you, you're the bitch of the fucker of mother. It's motherfucker. I said fucker of mother, same thing. Motherfucker, fucker of mother, same thing. Look at a bitch. You know what I'm talking about? Because you have family, not your dad, but you have family that talks like that and shit. They always mix shit up. What? How do white people curse? White people? You know what they do? Uh, they, they always end uh, like the, they always end a fucking A. Yeah. You're a bitch, fucking A. <laughs> fucking fucking A. <laughs> Son of a fucking A. You know what? You want to me about white people? Hey, they fucking. They, you, want, uh, you ever been in a fight with a white person? Gary. I one time I got in a fight with a white person. It was at some place called Sharky's in. Uh, I, I, yeah, it, um, what was, it, was it Newport Beach or something like that? I was like 20, 26, I'm 48 now, like 26. I bumped the guy on accident and I was about to say sorry and buy him a drink and he dropped his drink. And he was like, what's your brother? They yell. You know Mexicans, when we fucking get in a fight, we get, we get lower. We get a problem, bro? We're like, no! You get a problem? I'm all, hey, bro, relax. No, no, not your bro, bro. Get <laughs> problem, fight. And, and, and remember, when Mexicans, when Mexicans fight, we get real close. What's up, puto, you got a problem? What's up, what's up, do something, do something. And the fight don't start till your friend pushes you into him. <laughs> he was backing up, so I thought I was gonna get in the fight, and I kept going, wait, cross the line. What? Cross the line! <laughs> this didn't happen, but I think it's funny. This Armenian guy said, hey, kick that liquid of dick of mother's ass. <laughs> he told me to cross. I'm like, bro, I just, I'll buy you a drink. No! <laughs> Why do people get excited about shit? Like, it's not exciting. <laughs> Go to Disneyland with them. Dude, we're at Small World. I know, but there's fucking puppets, dude. Whoever made this rock? <laughs> there you go, bro. See, uh, YouTube, I want to know the camera's at, but YouTube person, a request, and I gave it to him. <laughs> You know what sucks about 2023? You can't cough unless people think you have COVID, huh? You can't do nothing. <gasps> oh, are you okay? You okay? <laughs> Fucking mask, we're all gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Fucking COVID never killed nobody. <laughs> it did it. I don't, I don't believe that shit. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm one of those assholes. That yeah. COVID fucking this. <laughs> smoke a pack a day and fucking drink all night. Wake up at fucking one and get mad that I missed the news. I have a simple life. Like, look, I'm, I'm, I'm gaining weight. I'm gaining a lot of weight. Because I have a girlfriend now. That's how you know a Mexican's happy when he gains weight. When I was single, like a year ago, <laughs> walking around speaking shit. <laughs> My arms look like this. <laughs> now she got come home, girl. She cooks like fucking she's paisa. <laughs> fucking El Monte. She grew up in El Monte and shit. And then she didn't stay in El Monte. She moved to San Bernardino, even more paisa. <laughs> Every time I go downstairs, right? By, by, by the kitchen, because the bathroom is by the kitchen, I'm like, oh no, she really just cooks something. <laughs> fucking getting fat. Look at my tits. I'm, like, I'm almost a B cup. <laughs> Where's your bra? What? Nice. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anthony, handle. <laughs> Talking shit about the Raiders, eh? <laughs> I'm a Raider fan, don't hurt me. What's that? I'm a Raider fan, don't hurt me. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Try again. <laughs> Say something funny again. I'm a Ram fan, don't hurt me. <laughs> no. Nobody wants to hurt Ram fans. We call the police. Right? 
tattooed rounds forever. Horns up. Boop, boop. But as a try, that's for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I scare you, bro? You got scared right now. No, you, but I went, boop, boop. You see, you went. <laughs> you reach in his pocket, babe, babe, put this in your bra. Put this in your bra. <laughs> that's how you scare turtles. I wish I had like a backpack with a speaker. And boop, boop. Oh, shit, let's go. Cool, eh? <laughs> Sleepy, wicked. You know what's funny? That, you know, you were a troller when you were a kid, right? Okay, bro, the, the fucking weakest fucking gang name is Happy. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I had a homeboy named Happy from Puente, and Happy. What the fuck Happy? You're not supposed to be happy when you're a cholo. I guess afterward, I got him. I'm happy. But you can't walk around saying you're happy. Fucking goofy. What the fuck? I had a homeboy named Goofy. He died like, like 10 years ago. Like, Fuck it, I'm Goofy, eh? I'm Goofy. <laughs> hey, bro, you think you're fucking, you look stupid up there telling them jokes, eh? Take that Goofy out. <laughs> right? <laughs> fucking killer. That's a good gay name, huh? Puppet. <laughs> Not little puppet, puppet, the big one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want it? Oh, never mind, I'm gonna <laughs> Next time I will, all right? <laughs> you okay, Red Fan? You all right? It's okay, bro. Yeah. Two and 16 last year. Yeah. What, are you gonna get it next year? That was gonna happen? Yeah, all right. Okay, this is a ball. <laughs> when the guy says hike, you go like that. <laughs> I'm on the Dodgers this year. I think we're gonna take it. Yeah. We got that new kid out, man. I know, but he's a badass. You can't get him out, man. Okay, you missed that shit, okay. I'm gonna order another shot. Oh, I know, bro, you're a Padre fan, huh? Oh my God, fuck the Padres, dog. On the real, bro, come on. Every year, I love, bro. Bro, their fucking colors are caca and piti. You gotta be tough when you name your team. That's what I hate. Like, look, you know what I'm saying? Like, they changed the fucking Cleveland Indians to the Cleveland Guardians. The Indians are fucking crazier than Guardians. I'm half Indian. We fucking take off and we handle shit, huh? Fucking bow and arrows, we made that shit. So, I am a guardian, oh, Indian. Oh. All right, came from the hills. I seen a white man coming down the hill. I had to cut off his fucking scalp. Scalp, right? They cut off your fucking head, dog. You know what I'm saying? And they brought it home. No cholos do that. You ever done that, bro? You're like, and you leave. Indians are fucking nailing fucking white people at bringing home their fucking head. That's a tough man, right? Why you change that, white? That's a fucking badass fucking model, you know what I'm saying? Fucking Indians. I love being Indian. You know why? I drink a lot and fucking I don't feel it the next morning. Huh, oh, it's an Indian blood shit, huh? Because if you think you're Mexican, you're not. You're Indian. You know that, right? We're all fucking Indian. We're all indigenous motherfuckers. And we can do whatever the fuck we want. You know who the toughest motherfuckers on our planet is? The toughest people on our planet are old Mexican men. Over 55 years old. My grandfather, fuck that dude. <laughs> Fixing a car when it's on. <laughs> you ever seen that shit? My grandpa's in there, put that gas, put that gas, put that gas. Mm, he's in there with his hands all shit, the fucking thing spinning. You can't fuck with that, huh? It's my grandfather. He passed away two years ago. And here's to all your grandfathers and grandmothers, all right? Because there's nobody like a Mexican grandmother. Fuck, huh? They can make a slipper fucking hurt when she hits you. <laughs> fucking Deer Foam's commercial was, fits like a glove, so comfortable. <laughs> Not what she has in her hand beating your ass, huh? How you leave a scar with a fucking foam? <laughs> My grandma, she's in the fucking convalescent home right now. I'm gonna go visit her tomorrow. I know, because she don't fucking die. Because 
Mexicans refuse to die, huh? You know what she told me? Because she divorced my grandfather after 60 years of marriage. I didn't get that one. I'm like, 59, okay. 60, I can't take it no more. <laughs> the last straw, she, she, my grandfather was a tyrant. You know, you know how most Mexican treats their women. You know, hey, I'm the man, you're the woman, He was like that. He's like five four. Like, nah, nah. <laughs> the last straw, she couldn't take it no more. She took a plate and threw it at him and hit him in his mouth. He lost two teeth and had 16 stitches. <laughs> Okay, you guys aren't getting this shit, right? This isn't a white people Ikea plate. These are grandma's plates. You know how heavy the fuck they are? Remember you go to grandma's house and they eat like, fuck, spot me. And when you're five foot three and you weigh 116 pounds, you can't fucking throw a plate like that that weighs like 20 pounds. She must have fucking... <laughs> fucked him up and he's five six. They're tiny little Mexicans. Fucking the police came and shit. Oh, she, he, he had 16 stitches across his head and two broken teeth. I pulled up, I grabbed me all, me all. I think there's a problem at the house. What happened, Grandma? Oh, I'm like, me all, I don't know, but your grandpa's bleeding. And I don't know what domestic violence means, but it keeps you saying that to me. I pull up, my grandma's on the fucking curve like a troll. This is a true story. Ask my sis, ask my Kiki, right? Dude, that's a true fucking story. My grandma's fucking sitting there on the curb with fucking rollers and a moon one. <laughs> my grandfather's in the fucking ambulance and he's being short, so he's sitting on the curb and on the bumper. Fucking bitch, fucking bitches. <laughs> he has blood all through his shit. I'm like, Grandma, what happened? He wouldn't shut up. <laughs> well, Grandma, what would you do? I threw a plate at him and I hit him in the face and he wouldn't shut up after that. He was yelling after I hit him with the plate to tell him to shut up. What is domestic violence mean, y'all? That means you fucked up your spouse. <laughs> no, I didn't fuck up the house. The house is fine. <laughs> it's a true fucking story. You can't write that shit. And she divorced my grandfather, right? And then my grandfather died like two years ago, right? <laughs> and I go, but before he died, I go, Grandma, Grandpa's still alive. And she goes, you know why? Because evil don't die. <laughs> evil lives forever, mijo. Then he died, I'm all, what's that say about you, grandma? Uh, no, because I survived the evil. <laughs> Some Mexican shit right there, huh? I see IS uh, after three. <laughs> you okay? What's your name again, bro? I'm sorry. Uh, Marvel. Uh, Marvel, that's right. <laughs> Anthony, you all right? I didn't get your name, Tolo, what is it? No, your real name, Wicked, Sleepy. Happy. Ray. Ray, you, that's what you wrote on the wall? <laughs> so it's Wicked, Sleepy, oh. Ray. <laughs> what? I never wrote on the wall, eh? They knew who I was. <laughs> what, where'd you grow up at? Montebello. Oh, shit. La veo, huh, huh? This fucker, hey, Anthony, you're off the hook. <laughs> Are you a Raider fan too, bro? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I am, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Ray, my bad, bro. You just fit this fucking description, right? It's funny, huh? When we have kids, Mexicans have kids, the fucking doctors and nurses show up with Raider and Dodger shit up. <laughs> like, born that way and shit. <laughs> but I don't have no families. I couldn't be a Raider. I wanted to be a Raider fan. Anyway. You know what I'm saying? But, mm, nah. Because <laughs> you're a Dodger fan, though, huh? Yeah. You have kids? Yep. How old are your kids, man? Oldest is 36. 30, I say kids, bro. We're not fucking grown ass fucking people. <laughs> 10, oh fuck, the accident kid, huh? <laughs> 10 years old, the accident kid, fuck yeah. <laughs> hey, youngsters that are, oh shit, I'm sorry, I didn't put my fucking phone on silent. <laughs> so, what? No, it's, yeah, it's not not, but it's okay, because she has a call before 10. <laughs> Dude, I, you spoil your kids or what? My little one, yeah. Yeah, I spoil the fuck out of my kids. We didn't have shit growing up. 
my fucking son, you know what he told me one time? He's all, Dad, I bought him a Wii for, for his birthday, right? Dad, did you have the Wii? Fucking Wii? I had the us, me and your Aunt Liz. And when she didn't want to kick it, I had the me. We had shit, nothing. That's why I gave my kids everything. I mean, nothing. Oh, fuck, nothing. Yeah. Took my son to his first baseball game, right? He was six years old. I bought the best tickets that you can get. Right there, fuck, right there over the dugout. We were so close, we were getting hit with Manny Ramirez dreads. <laughs> I'm looking at him, he's, he's not even looking at the game. He's like, I got fucking mad. I'm like, watch the fucking game. Shit costs 200 bucks each ticket. Watch the game. Motherfucker, I would have sucked a dick when I was your age. And I'm not exaggerating. I would literally suck a fucking dick to sit where he was sitting when I was this age. Because I didn't get that shit. We went to Dodger Stadium. You know where we sat? Fucking way the fuck up through seven escalators. Fucking after the fourth escalator, I'm dad, I can't breathe. <laughs> Fucking birds flying by, what's up, fool? A Southwest flight, people are waving. And I didn't get to see the whole fucking game because we got kicked out because my mom snuck in food. And she's trying to argue, we bought it here, we bought it here. We bought it here. Mom, they don't serve Manudo at Dodger Stadium. <laughs> and if they did, they wouldn't serve it in a Ram thermos. <laughs> Sucks, Pete. Oh, you have your grandkids or what? <laughs> Next month, the grandkids, I'll fucking grand up, dude. My fucking dad, fuck my dad. I'm, I'm, I love him to death, and he's my dad, and he's the awesomest man on the planet, but fuck him. The way he treats my kids, oh my God. Who the fuck are you? Because I remember you through the 80s. You fucking, I, I, on the real, my son comes out, hey dad, I want to hang out. I want to hang out with grandpa. I'm going to go clean your room. Uh, you can hang out for a little while. <laughs> Who the fuck are you, nice man? You see this fucking scar? That was you, 1984, bitch. <laughs> They're nice, huh? Your grandkids or what? Yeah. Fuck you, you're nice to them, huh? Fuck you back. <laughs> I couldn't believe that shit. My fucking dad is so nice. My, my dad was an asshole. He was my baseball coach, too. That was worse. <laughs> right? I fucking got hit with a ball, right? In the, in the face, okay? I, I, was, I was playing second base and I misjudged it. He hit me in the face. He thought, he's like, are you okay? Yeah, okay, you get back in there. I'm like, dad, my eye doesn't. I went to the fucking mirror and my fucking eye was like, okay. <laughs> He was gonna put me back in there. Yeah, you'll be all right. Rub some dirt on it. <laughs> Old Mexican man. He's in Vietnam too. That don't help. <laughs> you, you know he gets mad. Come on, he gets mad. I told him. I, I told him. I try to tell him Vietnam jokes. I hear. I go, Dad. How many Vietnam veterans does it take to screw in a light bulb? He's like, I don't know. What? You don't know because you weren't there, man. He's like this. <laughs> well, why is that funny? <laughs> all right, I'm almost out of here. You guys good or what? Yeah. All right, I'll give you an extra 15 minutes, all right? Yeah. I know, hey, hey, next time you go to a comedy show, notice this, right? <laughs> hey, don't call me out like that, Jeff. What? Well, I will, Joe. <laughs> Check it out, this, this is what rookies do. <laughs> what, I'm, I'm gonna have him do it, right? Hey, hey Joe, you gotta come up and do it, right? <laughs> Are you filming me right now? Uh, well, yeah, but it's more Bro, you don't want the witness protection program bullshit? <laughs> that's bullshit, because that bitch got her shoes back. <laughs> no, thank you very much for coming out. I enjoyed my night. My name is Chef Garcia, thank you very, very much.